Good evening, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Tonight we come together to celebrate Shabbat with song, with word, with prayer. We celebrate together and we begin our celebration with song on page 22, Tov Hodot Ladonai, how good it is to give thanks to God. Page 22. Is more she And as we hope for enlightenment with Shabbat, we begin Shabbat with the lighting of the Sabbath lights. It is my pleasure to invite Jennifer Minio, who will become Bat Mitzvah tomorrow morning, and her mother, Lynn, to join us to come by the candles and to kindle our Sabbath lights. We turn to page two and three and we rise as able. Page two and three. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we live light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Baruch HaTah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedoshanu B'mitzvotav B'tzivanu L'hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Baruch HaTah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kereshanu b'mitzvotav Betzivanu lehad likner Lehad likner shel You may be seated. We turn to page 20 as we sing L'chad Odi, welcoming the Sabbath into our sanctuary and into our lives. We'll be singing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. When we arrive at the final verse, we rise and face the door as we greet the Sabbath bride. Page 20. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat rika kala, pene pene shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat rika kala, pene pene shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat rika kala, pene pene shabbat nekabela. Lecha dodi, likrat rika kala, pene pene shabbat nekabela. Shamor vizachor bedibor echad, 
Hishmi anu el hameyuchad, Arodai echad ushemo echad. L'shem utifere velite hila la la, Lecha lecha dodi likrat likrat kala, Pere pere shabat nekabela. Lecha dodi likrat likrat kala, Pere pere shabat nekabela. Likrat Shabbat lechu benelcha, ki mekor haberacha me rosh mikerem nesucha. Sofa asem emach Shabbat echi la 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 lecha lecha dodi likrat likrat kala pene pene Shabbat nekabela lecha dodi likrat likrat kala. Pere pere Shabbat de Kabela. Hit oreri, hit oreri. Kiba ore kumi ori. Uri uri shir da beiri. Kevot adonai alayik nigla. Lecha lecha do di likra likra kala. Pere pere Shabbat de Kabela. Lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pene pene shabat nekabela. Bo yve shalom atered bala. Gaham besimcha uvetzola. Lecha lecha dodi, lecha lecha kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, lecha lecha kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. La la, lecha lecha dodi, lecha lecha kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, lecha lecha kala. Pene pene Shabbat Nekabela. We turn to page 26 for the Chatzit Kaddish. Yit Kadal ve Yit Kadash Shemay Raba. Be'al ma'divrach yirutei ve'amlik malchutei Be'chayechon u'biyomechon U'b'chayir chobet Yisrael Ba'agala, ba'agala U'b'izman karif v'imru Amen Yehish me'rava b'vara Yitbarach ve'yishtabach ve'yitpa'ar v'yitromam ve'yitnaseh ve'yitadar ve'yitaleh ve'yithalal shemei dekudesha b'rifu le'ila min kol b'yichata ve'shirata tush b'yichata Da amir al be'al ma'avim ru, amen. Page 28, we physically or spiritually rise.
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Poteach Sha'arim Uvit Vuna Meshane Itim Umachalif et Hazmanim Umsader et Hakochavim Vamishmarote Hem Barakia Kiritsuno Bore Yom Valila Golel Or Mipne Hoshech Bechoshech Mipne Or Uma Avir Yom Ume Vilila Uma Avdil Ben Yom Uvein Lila Adonai Tiva Ochimo El Chai Vakayam Tamid Imloch Alenu Leolamba Ed Baruch Ata Adonai Hama Ariv Aravim. We read responsibly on page 33 Wisdom and Wonder, Passion and Instruction, Story and Symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love? Than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Page 41, please read with me. Sing the song of men and women, joined in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles, an earth protected and cherished, a gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content. For soldiers home to leave no more, the song of a world redeemed. The Song of Peace. Page 40. Yada die, 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 yada die, 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 yada die, 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 Yadadai, 
می کم و خانه دار با کارش نورتی لود او سفل او سفل ملخود خار او و نخا با که ایام لیف نیم و شب ملخود خار او و نخا با که ایام لیف نیم ریام یار رای 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 یار رای 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 یار رای 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 یار رای 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 یار رای 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 زه زه ایلی آنو و آمرو هرونای ملخ لعلام لعلام و ונאמר כי פרה ארוני את יעקב וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו ברוך את ארוני גאל ישראל. be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch ata Adonai, haporis sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. Page 44. Shamru vene Yisrael et ta Shabbat la asot et ha Shabbat le dorotam berit ola. Ve Shamru vene Yisrael et ta Shabbat la asot et ha Shabbat le dorotam berit ola. Beni uvein bene Yisrael, od hi le olam, od hi le olam. Ve shamru bene Yisrael et ta Shabbat. לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית עולם. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית עולם. וביום השביעי, וביום השביעי, Shabbat v'yinafash U'vayom ha 
Shamru vene Israel et Tashabat la asolt et Tashabat le doro tamerit olam ve Shamru vene Israel et Tashabat la asolt et Tashabat le doro tamerit Spiritually or physically, we rise for the Amidah, page 46. You may be seated.
page 55, we read responsibly. Disturb us, Adonai, ruffle us from our complacency, make us dissatisfied, dissatisfied with the peace of ignorance, the quietude which arises from a shunning of the horror, the defeat, the bitterness and the poverty, physical and spiritual of humans. Shock us, Adonai, deny to us the false Shabbat, which gives us the delusions of satisfaction amid a world of war and hatred. Wake us, O God, and shake us from the sweet and sad poignancies rendered by half-forgotten melodies and rubric prayers of yesteryears. Make us know that the border of the sanctuary is not the border of living, and the walls of your temples are not shelters from the winds of truth, justice, and reality. Disturb us, O God, and vex us. Let not your Shabbat be a day of torpor and slumber. Let it be a time to be stirred and spurred to action. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh ha-Shabbat. Page 56. goodness, we give thanks, thanks for the gift, the gift of, of life, life of wonder beyond, beyond words, for the, the awareness, awareness of soul, soul our light within, for the, the world, world around us so filled with beauty, beauty for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, hatov shimchal ulecha na'eh lehodot. 
Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul. And may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, eternal one, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch ata Adonai, hamevarech et amo Yisrael, Shalom. And as we pray for shalom, for peace in our world, we pray also for peace within ourselves, within the lives of those we love, as we pray for the healing of the ill. Whether someone suffers from an illness of the body or an illness of the mind or an illness of the spirit, we pray that they come to a refuah shlema, a healing of wholeness, a feeling of peace within themselves, of peace between them and the universe. If there's anyone for whom you are praying on this Shabbat for their healing, I offer you to share the name. We think of them and others whom we name in our hearts. The Misha Berach, our prayer for healing, can be found on page 253. of strength who blessed the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us for the words of our heart as we pray silently.
shalom bim romav ho ya ase shalom aleinu ve akol ve akol yisrael ve akol yoshvei tevel ho se shalom Bimrom bavuya ase shalom baleiru ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel. Ose shalom bimrom bavuya ase shalom baleiru ve'al kol ve'al kol Yisrael. Be'al kol yoshvei tebel Ose shalom Bimrom avuya Ase shalom aleinu Be'al kol Yisrael Ve'yimeru As we turn to page four for the Kiddush, the sanctification, the making holy of Shabbat with um, wine, our symbol of joy, it's my pleasure to invite Max Mineo to the Bima, brother of our Bat Mitzvah. And anyone who is here who has not yet celebrated becoming Bat Mitzvah or Bar Mitzvah, B'nai Mitzvah, if you will, is welcome to join us on the Bima to help us out. And I ask Ruth Rosenberg on behalf of our board of trustees to pass out the wine cups. And I just want to make a comment that this Kiddush cup that we've been using for so many years was donated by Joan Waxstein, the grandmother. Oh. Yes, as people are not aware of that. Nice. That one's right there. And we rise. Let us praise God with the symbol of joy and give thanks for the blessings of the past week, for life and strength, for home and love and friendship, for the discipline of our trials and temptations, for the happiness that has come to us out of our labors. You have ennobled us, O God, by the blessings of work and in love have sanctified us by Sabbath rest and worship as ordained in the Torah. Six days shall you labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to be hallowed unto the eternal your God. Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Borei Peri Hagafen Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu v'shabat kodesho v'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemaasei bereishit ki hu yom tehila lemikrai kodesh zeicher. Litziat Mitzrayim Ki banu v'acharta V'otanu kidashta Mikol habib V'shabat kodshecha Altanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Ashabat Amen. Lachayim. Lachayim. You may sip your grape juice and surrender your cups to Mrs. Rosenberg. 
and we all offer blessing to our children, those children who are with us here, those children we hold in our hearts, and anyone for whom we help to provide care and raise. And we repeat after me, may God bless you, may God bless you. And, watch over you. and watch over you. May God give you light, may God give you light. and may God give you, grace. May God give you grace. May God's face turn to you, may God's face turn to you. and may you always know shalom. May you always know shalom. Amen. Amen. You may return to your seats. And we remain standing as we take, as we prepare for the Torah service. You may be seated. We have a double Torah portion this week, Ahare Mot and Kadoshim. I'm going to be reading from the section of Kadoshim, which contains what has become known as the Holiness Code. You, the Israelite people, the Jewish people, shall be holy, we are told by God, because I am God and I am holy. Now, when we think about holiness, we think about some high and lofty goals. We think about people who we might hope to become, but probably don't ever really think we will become. We think of great people, we think of sages, we think of heroes. But that's not what we read about. The Holiness Code is full of basic rules of how to be a decent person. To not steal from people, to not keep money for your laborers, for people who are working for you overnight because they might need it more. To not put a stumbling block before the blind, to not take advantage of people's weaknesses for our own good. To not give unfair rulings, either favoring the rich or looking down on the rich, or vice versa. To love our neighbors as ourselves, which I believe is just as much about loving our neighbor as it is about loving ourselves. In order to be holy, we need to interact with the world around us. We need to be good. And the guide for how to become holy is truly attainable to all of us. And so as we read these words, I hope that you can think about moments where you have been holy and moments where you can be holy in the days and weeks and months and years to come. It is my pleasure to invite Ruth Rosenberg 
to do the Aliyah. Uh, Ruth is a member of our Board of Trustees, and which is a group that really we think about as doing business, but really is a group that helps us bring holiness here. And most recently, Ruth was one of the chairs and heads of our um, art auction last weekend, which was a true success both in terms of people having fun and it was both fundraising and fund raising to make a really, really bad pun. And so we are on page 798. I'm going to be reading the first few verses, starting with Leviticus 19, verse 1. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Ba'ed. And the Eternal spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the entire community of the children of Israel and say to them, y'all shall be holy, <laughs> for I, the eternal, your God, am holy. A person should, should fear, should give honor to their mother and their father, and my Shabbats, my Sabbaths, you shall guard over. I am the eternal, your God. Do not turn to other gods, to false gods, and Statu molten statues, mol molten idols, you shall not make for yourselves. I am the eternal, your God. Amen. And we rise as we lift the Torah and prepare to put it away. My friend Jason, he's about my age, he's also a rabbi, he tells a story about when he was taking the AP US history exam in high school. For those of you who are that age or were recently that age, you might be familiar. On one of the questions on the AP US history exam, they had to answer a question which required them to know the words of the preamble of the Constitution of the United States. As my friend tells the story, you could tell when each person got to that question. Why? Because these were children of the 70s and 80s. And as they got to that question, they each started bopping their heads as they sang to themselves, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, because they had to sing Schoolhouse Rock in order to remember 
the words. This week, the creator of Schoolhouse Rock, Bob Doro, died at age 94. The whole project started when an ad executive, David McCall, had kids who couldn't learn their times tables, but knew all the words to popular music. So he hired Doro to write songs about math. And he did. Three is the magic number is the first one he wrote. And he went through all the numbers from 1 through 10, except for 1 and 10, but he did include 0. A hit was born. Sound, this was part of the soundtrack of my childhood, watching not just Saturday morning cartoons, but also the musical videos between them, which taught me so many factoids about math and grammar and, of course, about how a bill becomes a law. And I'm not alone. I think most in my generation, a little bit older or a little bit younger, or who are of age for various popular remakes, know the feeling. Lots of truths that I know, I remember from music, not just Schoolhouse Rock. Music creates the stickiness of ideas. It puts ideas into our memories in a way that just words cannot. Music connects to the soul in a way words alone cannot. We each have so many memories that are connected to music. What song was playing when something happened? Which song reminds me of a friend? Which song can bring me back to a moment? or which songs are playing in my head as my own personal soundtrack at all times. Sometimes we hear someone say something that happens to be the lyric of a favorite song, and suddenly we're singing it out loud, or to ourselves. A couple years ago, a video went, on, went around that made fun of that idea called Hamilaria, making fun of all the people, I can perhaps relate to this, who hear a line from Hamilton and start singing. You can change the name of the musical to any other musical, or really any song. Because these, this music, the words combined with the tune, bring us back to moments and catch our memories. I remember when I first started studying Hebrew as a language in college, and first really started studying Jewish text, and how excited I'd get when I heard a word or a phrase that was already familiar because I used to sing it at camp. This past week, our sixth grade wrote protest songs, joining a line of tradition that goes back at least to the time of the prophet Amos, who wrote, remove, me, remove from me the sound of your songs, the music of your guitars I shall not hear, but let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Even before that, Miriam sang with her timbrel, inspiring celebration, and Moses sang his own song as they crossed into freedom. Our sacred tradition is full of song. Songs that send messages and teach truth. Songs that help us celebrate. Songs that help us cry. Songs that bring us together. And songs that help us remember. Camp, as I started to mention, is a place where many musical memories come from. And I've been thinking a lot about camp recently as I get ready for summer. I haven't had the chance to spend time at camp over the past few years, but this summer I get to go to two camps, the new URJ Arts Camp in Westchester, Pennsylvania, and Camp Harlem, where I also grew up. In addition, Harlem is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year, and there have been celebrations all along leading up to a mass celebratory weekend at the end of the summer. As I hear about all of those plans and make my own plans to be part of it, I've been thinking a lot about camp. And music is an integral part of that. From song sessions, to service melodies, to songs we sing in the bunk, and that part is true for any camp, not just Jewish camp, alma maters and fight songs from Maccabia from Color War, and other song parodies that get written here or there for whatever reason they seemed like a good idea at the time. Music is part of the fabric of camp, and it's part of what makes camp special, what makes it a holy space. In this week's Torah portion, Akharimot Kedoshim, 
we hear of these essential laws of how to live, some of which have, yes, been set to music. But even just the words give us acts and actions to create holiness, which is pretty much the same thing as what music does. Music creates sanctity out of the mundane. Music enables us to transcend the everyday and to elevate our lives. Living lives full of sacred acts allows us to make music out of our living. May we all live such musical lives, whether through the soundtrack of our days or the songs we sing, or the melodies we hear, or the memories that are brought back by a tune, or the jingles we use to teach. May we all find the music each and every day. Kenya Hiratson, may this be God's will. Kenya Hiratsenu, may this be our will. I'm just a bill, yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm living here on Capitol. The Elenu will be sung to the tune. Oh, I'm sorry, the Elenu. <laughs> <laughs> we turn to page 282 Two. on the bottom of the page for Elenu, and we rise. Meditation on the Mourner's Kaddish on page 290. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream, to be, to be and owe to lose, a thing for fools this and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, your laugh once lifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy. Does a human thing love a holy thing to love what death has touched? If you are in the period of Shifa or Shloshim, mourning the death of a loved one who passed in the past seven or 30 days, I invite you to rise. If you're mourning the love, a loved one who has died within the past year, I invite you to rise. If you're marking the yard site of someone the anniversary of their death, I invite you to rise. And for anyone for whom it is your custom, to honor the memories of all may rise as well as we recite the mourner's Kaddish on page 294. Yitkadal <laughs> Yit parach, viet tabach, viet paar, viet romam, viet nase, viet hadar, viet alev, viet halal, shemed kudsha, brihu, le ela, min kol, birhata, vishirata, tush behata, venechamata, da amiran de alma, imru, amen. Yehe shlama raba, min shmaya, behaim, alenu, be al kol Yisrael, be imru, amen. O se shalom, bimromav, huya a se shalom. Aleinu ve'alkol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. On this Shabbat, as a community, we remember 
Donald David Golder, Joseph Kaufman, Herman Dechter, Susan Goodman, Joseph Handler, Henry Harris, Rose B. Hershon, Beatrice Hoffman, Adolph Markell, Shirley Middleman, Quinton F. Potter, Reba G. Sapowith, Dr. Albert Chappelle, Regina Verone, Millie Belfant Wolf, John Zimmerman. If anyone has a name to add, I invite you to share it. Zichanam Livracha, may all of their memories be for blessing. You may be seated. If you turn to the, the pink handout you got on your way in from our ushers um, and some other pamphlets that are out there, you can see some of the many, many, many things that are happening. I will especially point to next Shabbat when we all have the chance to have a musical Shabbat celebration and on Saturday night, the wonderful chance to celebrate Cantor Stanton. Even as we shed a tear as we say goodbye, we celebrate all that you have given us and the true gift of the holiness of your music. Thank you. And many, many other things going on. A couple words of thanks. Thank you to Ruth Rosenberg for being our board representative, Dennis Stort for also blessing us with music each week. And um, I, we are all invited to celebrate Shabbat with our own egg Shabbat afterwards, which is being sponsored by Jennifer's grandmother, Joan, in honor of her bat mitzvah. Mazel tov to Jennifer and her whole family on this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful occasion. Our closing song is page 327, um, In Kelohenu, the Ladino version, Non Como Muestro Dio. And I invite you to rise as we end our service as we began with song. Page 327. En keloheinu, en kanoneinu, en kemakeinu, en kemoshienu, non como muestro Dios, non como muestro Señor, non como muestro Rey, non como muestro Salvador. Mi keloheinu, mi kadoneinu, Mi gemalkeinu, mi gemoshienu, ken como muestro dio, ken como muestro señor, ken como muestro rey, ken como muestro salvador. No de leiloheinu, no de la donenu, no de la makeinu, no de la moshienu, Lo haremos a nuestro Dios, lo haremos a nuestro Señor, lo haremos a nuestro Rey, lo haremos a nuestro Salvador. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Moshienu, bendito nuestro Dios. Bendicho nuestro Señor, bendicho nuestro Rey, bendicho nuestro Salvador. Atahu Eloheinu, atahu Adoneinu, atahu Malkeinu, atahu Moshienu. Tú sos nuestro Dios, tú sos nuestro Señor. Tu sos nuestro rey, tu sos nuestro salvador. We'll say moti together before we enjoy the sweetness of Shabbat. It's a chala. I get surprised every week. Ha moti lechem in hares. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our prayer is joyfully said. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.